Kylie moved his board. Coming to you from the comfort of our own homes and into yours. The Championship Dart Circuit is proud to present the CDC Championship League Canadian Division Finals. That's right. What was once seven men has been whittled down to two. Jim Long and Kylie Edmonds. Jim, tried and true throughout the entire seven-week regular season, right into last week's semis win against rising star Kiefer Durham. Edmonds, a solid season which culminated with the slaying of an undefeated 
mighty ginger ninja himself, Matt Campbell, for his right to be here. So much to look forward to in this Clash of the Titans in their race to nine legs, best of 17, ties are out the door. But first, let's look ahead to, well, tonight. That's right, about 10 minutes after the conclusion of this match, we will have a brand new stream for the United States Division Finals featuring Nick Lindberg and Gary Mawson, two of the most decorated men in the CDC Tour, going head to head. But let's get back to the battle at hand, Long and Edmonds. We'll get to know them again, shall we? Because, I mean, for one of them, it will be the last time we read their bios. Of course, Long and Edmonds, Jim Long, who represented the CDC at the Alley Pally, hailing from Wardsville, Ontario, now living in London, Ontario. Kylie Edmonds, the new fee, now hailing from Nova Scotia. One day we expect to see him at the Alley Pally. These two going head-to-head -head in a brand new stat animation for you tonight. Are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? How about this? How about their players' stats? Let's take a look at how they have performed and how their stats stack up. For Jim Long, throughout this entire competition, has shot an 88.5 three dart average. Kylie Edmonds, 81.2. 19 ton 80s for Kylie Edmonds, 17 for Long. Look at that checkout turn, though. Long, 38%, and has won eight head to head legs against Edmonds to his 29% checkout and six head to head legs. But let's take a look at once more what's going to be going on tomorrow or tonight, rather, right after we are done. We have got the American Division Championship, and we also have a new sweep, uh, sweepstakes winner to be announced tonight during the break and some new sweepstakes to announce as well. We'll get to that in just a moment. What well, we do have a winner of the Adrian Lewis jackpot signed signature darts and Ross Snook signature uh, flight air flights. So those are presented by Cosmo Darts and Fit Flight. Of course, our sponsor, Magic Darts Incorporated. They've been amazing through this entire season and don't cease to amaze us with the prizes they have for us. Uh, and we will find out more about the sweepstakes forthcoming. We've got a couple of them after all, but uh, we'll get to that. Got to tease you a little bit, and you will find out who won those jackpot flights, or rather darts and raw snook flights, after the eighth leg during the break. That's right. We're going to make you stick around. And now, in the meantime, let's hear a word from our sponsors over at Magic Darts Incorporated, A to Z darts.com. And, of course, we want to thank our Magic Darts Incorporated, our lead sponsor here for the CDC Championship League. And we urge all of you to go to a to z darts.com and purchase their colonial line of darts, boards, and dart barrels. Use the promo code COLONIAL10 to get 10% off of your order. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, one of these two men will be in the first ever championship league championship representing Canada tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern. Will it be Edmonds? Will it be Long? I don't know. We will find out tonight before Long. 
Uh, before uh, we get into that, though, let's get to know these players and let me bring on a very familiar voice. You all know him. He's my friend and yours, Mr. That, Anthony. Actually. Eugenia is joining us tonight as well. Anthony, how are yes, you doing that. tonight, my friend? Hey, Colin, how are you, brother? Thank you for having me in tonight. Oh, it's great to have you. Anthony, I'll let you take the lead and uh, and talk to Jim and Kylie, and then I'll throw a question in as well before we get things started. But ladies and gentlemen, Mr. A.E. A. E. himself, Anthony Eugenia. Good evening, gentlemen. Good luck tonight. Thank you. How's it going? Uh, firstly, Kylie, uh, obviously we know you're all geared up right here for your Canadian finals match against Jim Long, but please, for a moment, if you will, take us back to Friday night, a fantastic performance in a really compelling back and forth match against Matt Campbell. Yeah, I uh, started off great and then slowed down and you come back in it and then we kind of went lag for lag until the last couple. You beat me eight nothing in the round robin, so I wanted to get back, get, get back at him a little bit, I guess. A little payback indeed. So good luck tonight. We know a uh, high-scoring affair from Kylie Edmonds. And, and speaking of high-scoring, Jim, good luck tonight. And, and uh, you're coming into this this match off a couple of really great, you know, numbers performances, not only just victories, but finishing uh, against Kiefer with nearly 100 average, also around, you know, 90 in your uh, divisional semi. So how you feeling tonight? And, and what do those numbers mean to you? Uh, how's it going there, Anthony? Glad to hear from you, buddy. Um, honestly, the, uh, the last night of the round robin was important for me because I had been playing so poorly. So it was great. Um, the, the, the playoff game wasn't probably as, um, as good as it could have been for both of us. I mean, we, we had such a great match the night, two nights before. Uh, but, uh, Matt and, uh, Kylie were in a real slobber. If you don't mind me saying so. <laughs> Uh, and a slobber knocker indeed. It, it was really compelling back and forth. And Kylie went up a little bit and, and Matt stirred fir firm. But but Kylie, the number four seed is here tonight. And we are really excited at this game. This is uh, a, a, a lot of, a lot at stake and, and the potential is just tremendous. So good luck, guys. Thank and you. Anthony, with that, with that in mind, Anthony, I, I have to ask your question now. We have a, a bizarre caveat where they've been part of the production. The players have all season. We've been able to hear their reactions in real time, and now they're going to hear the announcers in real time. What do you expect, Anthony Eugenia, to see out of Jim Long and Kylie Edmonds tonight? I expect full 17 legs, averages around 97 to 99, and it's too close to call, Colin. You know what you can call for us, Anthony, before we let you go? Can you give us your signature 180, please? That's a 180. Perfect. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Anthony Eugenia, he'll be joining us for the live stream in the United States as well. Uh, Kylie and Jim, there's really not much more I can add to that. So I'm just going to let you guys have at it. Uh, throw a couple of darts to warm up, uh, maybe uh, three darts apiece. Uh, let everyone at home know that Jim won the cork. He hit a double. Kylie Edmonds hit a single. So Jim will be leading off. Gentlemen, best of luck. Anthony, sit back and relax and enjoy the show, my friend. We'll talk to you soon. Uh, and gentlemen, I'll talk to you after the match. Again, you are watching the Canada Division Finals. The date you see on your screen is 100% correct. It is actually May 26th. We're here not just to provide live darts, the pivot made by the championship dart circuit in the, in the face of the pandemic, uh, but we're also here to tell you what day of the week it is because haven't we all lost track? But what was once 14 men, 14 competitors, has been whittled down to four, and by night's end, it will be whittled down to two. Kylie Edmonds, Jim Long. The match is coming up in just a moment. I'm Colin Cosell. You're you. Anthony Eugenia is with us as well. He'll be joining us for the USA Dart Stream uh, right afterwards, the U.S. Uh, Division Finals, I should say, which, by the way, will be its own separate entity. So everyone will get about a 10-minute break. Go do what you got to do. Make your microwave popcorn. Plenty of time for that. Hit the bathroom. Plenty of time for that. And then come back and join us, won't you? I think you should. All right, gentlemen. Let's get this game on, shall we? Okay. You ready, Kelly? Yep. You, right, you, you too, brother. You too. 
And with that, I'm hoping my microphone is muted because I'm going to tell you that the first swear of the night has been distributed by one Jim Long saying the word slobberknocker. How could he? 100. How very Canadian. But ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for all your support for the past seven weeks. We are now in week eight. It is the final week of the season. Final 40 hours. And look at Kylie Edmonds. Opening with a ton 35. Jim Long, of course, not pleased with his performance in the last couple of weeks of the regular season. And then against Kiefer Durham, jockeying towards second and third seed. There's a ton from Jim Long picking up where he left off. Jim just caught fire. A 10 darter, 11 darter, a 13 darter. He was just unstoppable. Aaron Quinn thought this was a family show. You thought wrong. This is a slobber knocker. Sorry, kids. 131. There's a 131 from Jim Long. So whatever what was, was going wrong with Long for the last 60. couple of weeks before that final match against Kiefer Durham in week seven, he has definitely righted the ship. The numbers in the chat room ever growing. It is so uh, great to dart. have all of you with us. And there's that third dart from Jim Long taking out a ton 30 to set the standard for the night. That was just a whole throw. 60. So Jim Long opens with a 12 darter. But if we know anything about Kylie Edmonds and what he did during the Dark Connect showcase on Friday, which, by the way, for scores coming in Six. and a live stream, what a tremendous job by Anthony Eugenia. I'd expect nothing less. The Darts Encyclopedia himself was just on top of everything, kept it exciting, electrifying, entertaining, and informed, as you would expect. So thank you to Anthony Eugenia. Thank you to David Gregg with Dart Connect. 45. Just a tremendous job in the wake of this pandemic, reinventing the wheel right before your very eyes. 180. And that's a 180 from Jim Long after a paltry, whoop, don't drop that dart now. After a paltry start in the second leg, Finds his dart on the floor right after finding all three in the bed together. Don't tell mom. Now, Jim Long on the heels of that ton 80. Going right back at that treble. Off the flight in south. 100. And there's a ton from Jim Long. All right, Kylie Edmonds trying to get himself down to an out. And, of course, if you missed it in the intro, the three dart average throughout this season. Jim Long, 88.51, shot around 100 on Friday. Mid-90s had the highest average. Oh, let's hold on a second, Colin. Third dart. Oh, third dart, Jim Long. A 122, double bull, trip 16, double 12. Do the math. You don't have to. Dark Connect did it for you. Jim Long, a ton 30, out. A ton 22, out. Those are just the first two legs. Goodness gracious. Uh, 100. And you can hear the disappointment in a 100 from Jim there. But again, his dart average has just been increasing. He finished off the season with the highest average of any player all season long in the final match of the regular season. He was tied for second with 17 ton 80s. Kylie Edmonds had 19 of them. Ranked him first overall. One, two, three. And a one, two, three, the old Sesame Street for Kylie Edmonds. 
But if we learned anything about his match against Matt Campbell, this is far from over. Unless, of course, unless, of course, Jim Long keeps doing what he's doing. Kylie, who led the league in ton 80s, is going to need a few of those. He's also going to have to up his out percentage, 29%. Ranked him 10th overall out of the 14 competitors. But again, it was enough to get him where he is. Uh, 40. 40 for long. Robin Curry's in the house. Scott Wollaston's in the house. Hope everything is okay. And that's a 180 for Kylie Edmonds. Just what the doctor ordered and just when I ordered it. That's right. I'm a doctor now. Scott, I hope everything's going all right down in New Orleans. I know they're getting hit pretty hard. 99. Now, here's the 99 from Jim Long. Why wouldn't he take out a ton 20? Kylie Edmonds, the pressure on him now to take out this double six. Perfect marker. First dart. Second dart. A little outside. Third dart. Most no score on the wire. Jim Long, who is on fire, trying to take out the ton 20. Not the one he wanted there, that's for sure. But uh, 31, 88. So an 88 for Jim Long. Leaves him double 16. Kylie now. Ooh, inside the wire. Oh, the second dart drops yeah. down. What is six on your clock is three on the dart board. And now Kylie Edmonds able to stop the bleeding before it gets too out of control. A little bit of gauze on the wound because Jim Long was not missing out. Kylie with that huge ton 80 in the third leg to get him down to the out. Jim Long was unable to take out a ton 20 after opening up this match with a ton 30 out. And a ton 22 out. 81. Kylie with a 30. 137. And there's a 137 from Kylie Edmonds. Jim Long taking himself down from the Stoner Special. Jim Newman joining us from Philadelphia, one of the pride and joy shooters of Philly, one of our favorite tour stops. 39. Always a great showing when we actually have a tour. So Jim Long showing some signs of maybe being human, maybe a little bit of adrenaline. There's a ton 40 out of Kylie Edmonds starting to heat up now. Jim Long with his 98 average on the match. Kylie Edmonds with his 77 looking to pick that up a bit. One forty, And there's a ton 40 from Jim Long now. Can't count him out. Keeping in mind, only one of these two will be on the stream 24 hours from right now. So Jim Long at he holds 241. Got himself down to an out, but Kylie Edmonds, double nine. Third dart indeed, yeah. notches it at two. So Kylie Edmonds able to scratch and claw his way back into this match early. Again, it is a race to nine, best of 17. The ties are out the door. They have been since Friday. Well, technically since last 96. Wednesday, but you know what I mean. And a 96. For Jim Long here in the fifth leg. 140. Sorry, I'm chuckling. Conversation with David Irene. I'll exchange that later. We've got a huge chat room tonight. Love the viewership. Well deserved. Oh, Jim Long. 140. That is a 140 indeed, Jim. I agree with you. I love being able to have a pseudo conversation with the players. They don't know I'm talking to them until after the fact. Sean Brenneman certainly learned that. When he hit his nine darter, his historic nine darter against the man on the right side of your screen, Kylie Edmonds, a huge night kept him alive for a little bit longer. 57. The old Heinz 57 for Jim Long. Talking about Sean, the man, Brenneman, or Showboat Brenneman, as I dubbed him that night. 
kept the heartbeat alive, but eventually it all came out in the wash. Edmonds, Long, Campbell, Durham, your final four. Now, Long and Edmonds. 44. Long taking care of the rising star here for Durham, Kylie, Edmonds, and what we've learned was a slobber knocker. Old-fashioned terminology, Long, and I agree. Between Kylie Edmonds and Matt Campbell, Edmonds handing Campbell his first loss of the season. First dart, quite errant for Jim Long. Perhaps he's settled down. He came uh, out 80. completely on fire. In the words of Anthony Eugenia and Fuego, Kylie Edmonds now second dart takes the lead. Three straight legs from Kylie Edmonds. At a 77 average two legs ago, now up to 88. Jim Long drops down to 94. A 107 14 darter for Kylie Edmonds. Leads off after breaking Jim. And watch out, your league leader in ton 80s leads off with a treble. And then the second one goes just north. Third one right in the bed. Ton 40 for Kylie Edmonds, catching the fire that once belonged to Jim. 59. So Jim Long has settled into possibly what we saw from him three weeks ago. He certainly doesn't want that after what he did in week seven against Kiefer Durham on Wednesday a week ago or six days ago, whatever. Time doesn't matter anymore during a pandemic. And then 48 hours later, shooting an even better average. 45. So Jim is going to have to do a little bit of soul searching right now because Kylie Edmonds is doing a little bit of soul sucking. He is just sucking the life right out of Jim Long, hitting all the big darts, a nice ton out of him. Even a ton 80 doesn't make it look feasible to Jim Long. Kylie is in the driver's seat all of a sudden. 100. But amazingly, Jim Long, Mr. Calm, Cool, and Collected, with the same exact demeanor, candor, and cadence in his voice and tone for a 100 that he gets for a 140. Funny how that works. So now Edmonds sitting on an out. Pretty one at that. Oh, Jim Long, two bad yeah. darts. 23. Ooh. It's the old Michael Jordan, the last dance. Oh, Kylie wanted that double pole, did not get it, but does not matter. No harm, no foul. Down to a double top. Why not try a new number, Kylie Edmonds? You've found everything else you've needed. Jim Long pressing the reset button and gets a 136. Dropping down to the 19s, ran out of bed space, went up to the treble 20, hit it. And then the second dart out of Kylie Edmonds suddenly – Shot out of a cannon, takes a 4-2 lead on Long. Unbelievable Hundred. darts out of Edmund. Also making me look like a bit of a soothsayer, a clairvoyant, if you will. Told you he was not out of this. Again, we will have a break at the eighth leg. That's one more leg after that. just giving you the heads up. And we will have our sweepstakes winner. I've got the information. You do not. But you'll find out who won the Adrian Lewis jackpot signature signed dart set. 140. Oh, there's a ton 40 out of Cutman's. As well as Ross Snook signature flights. Looks like that second dart. 95. Is indeed in the five, third dart in the single. So 95 for Jim Long, who is pounding that treble. Came into this match looking like Joe Chaney all season long. The chainsaw was diabolical in opening legs. Jim Long. 180. And that's a 180 for Jim Long. A big fat AE brings him down to 66. Oh, how sweet would it be for Jim to win this leg after winning the first two? Two unbelievable outs. And then Kylie Edmonds completely caught fire. 
14, 12, double top. Third dark Jim Long. Boom. Stop the bleeding Jim Long now. Holy cow, folks. Buckle up. If you love the darts, stand up. Actually, now's a good time to sit down. You're, you're, you don't want to get too tired. There's a lot of darts left. This is exactly what you'd expect to watch. And if you're just joining us and you don't know what you're watching, well, I'm glad you accidentally tuned in. But this is the CDC Championship League Canadian 45. Division Finals. I'm Colin Cosell. You're you. We're all at home. And this is all brought to you by Magic Darts Incorporated. You are watching the great Jim Long, the great Kylie Edmonds. All that's at stake is a trip to the finals tomorrow night to face an American. Will it be Nick Lindbergh? Will it be Gary Mawson? We do not know yet. We'll find that out 10 minutes after the conclusion of this match. Jim Long now. Uh, 180. And that's a 180. Jim Long with the same cadence, tenor, and tone as if he had won a 100. I wish I could be that nice. calm, cool, and collected during my broadcast. But if I did, I, we all might fall asleep. We don't know. That's why we leave it to the professionals. 44. So just a reminder... And this back and forth, as Jim would call it, slobber knocker. That's the last time I'm going to say it. No crutch words tonight. I'm not tired. I'm ready to give you all fresh words the entire time. I read the comments. I hear you guys. But after this leg, we are going to have a break. We are going to have our sweepstakes winner. We're going to have some ads. We're going to have a good time. And then we're going to come back and see how this thing plays out. 17 leg, 97. nine is what is required to advance to the first ever CDC Championship League final tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Live stream. Kylie Edmonds, two perfect darts, third dart. Third dart. Third dart indeed, Kylan. A one, four, eight out. Great, great. Tremendous darts uh, from nine. Kylie Edmonds. Uh, yeah, it's actually, it is a break. Yeah. That is indeed a break, break yeah. moment. All right. He did say a break, and that would be me. That was my break. The new high out belongs to Kylie Edmonds. Jim Long tore into this. A 130 out, a 122 out. Kylie Edmonds won the next four legs. Jim Long took out the next leg, and then Kylie Edmonds, you just watched it with your own very eyes, a one, four, eight, out. So we, uh, we also have some business to tend to, ladies and gentlemen. We had uh, a sweepstakes going on. Not sure if you're aware of it. I will tell you who the winner is right after these messages. And of course, for the next, what is it, five days? Yeah, let's say that. The next five days, the entire Colonial line at a to zdartscom is on sale. And by that, I mean, go ahead. Buy their boards. They're fantastic. Buy their barrels. They're even more fantastic. They all go together, don't they? Just use the promo code COLONIAL10 at the end of your purchase. You will get 10% off in this economy. Can you believe it? I can. I can also believe that we have a couple of winners to announce tonight. First and foremost, for the one-year Dart Connect subscription, the winner for that is 
Mike Holler. Mike Holler, you are the winner of a one-year Dark Connect subscription. And uh, congratulations to you. Use it wisely. Play against a computer. Play against your friends. You know what to do. You get to do it for free for one full year in this economy. Yes. My gosh, so many things going so cheap. But we also have a winner from last week's sweepstakes. And that was for the jackpot. Adrian Lewis darts that were signed by him, his signature darts. And Ross Snook flights, his signature flights. The winner of that. And by the way, we were all very excited by where the winner hailed from because we like to make this as countrywide as possible, if not international. And the winner is from Juneau, Alaska, Philip Wheeler. Philip, you are going home with a signed set of Adrian Lewis Jackpot Signature Steel Tip 22 Gram Flight signed by Jackpot himself, as well as a set of Fit Flight Air Signature Ross Snook Flights. So what does it take to win one of these sweepstakes? I'm glad you asked. We've got a couple more on the way. First and foremost, we have Lorraine Winstanley, uh, Winstanley rather, darts. A set of Lorraine Winstanley signature Target 24 gram steel tips signed by Lorraine herself, as well as a set of signature Darren Young fit flights. As soon as the matches tonight are over, the sweepstakes will begin and they will end tomorrow at 5 p.m. That's right, tomorrow, 5 p.m. Eastern. That is May 27th. It is a Wednesday. Mark your calendars. As soon as it's over, all you got to do is answer three questions correctly based on the matches you're watching tonight to enter the sweepstakes. You can find those answers on Dart Connect Match Report, available at tv.darkconnect.com, and all the other information is found on the Championship Dart Circuit Facebook page. And the other set up for grabs. Nathan Aspinall, the ASP 22 gram signature darts signed by him. That's right. The great hands that holds those great starts have held these darts and signed the package. And we'll also, you'll win a set of signature Jeremiah Millar fit flights. Again, the same inner information uh, pertains to this. All you got to do is enter after these matches end. All the answers are on tv.darkconnect.com and Everything you need to know otherwise is on the Championship Darts Circuit Facebook page, facebook.com slash champ darts. Okay. Wow. That was a mouthful, but not nearly what to uh, compare to what we've seen tonight. Kylie Edmonds and Jim Long. The pictures there, not indicative of the scores. Jim, uh, Kylie Edmonds right now with a 5 3 lead over Jim Long. And it has been unbelievable. And, and Kylie with an 88 average, has been on fire, has won five of the last six legs after Jim Long got shot out of a cannon, and his 91 average still pretty darn good, but not enough. It is a race to nine. Kylie requires four. Jim requires six. Who's going to get them? Let's find out together. Gentlemen, finish up your last six starts, and let's get this party started. All of the viewers at home want to see what you're capable of. They want to know who is going to square off the winner of the next match we have, which, of course, is Nick Lindbergh and Gary Mawson, two men who have achieved a great amount of success on the tour. Gary Mawson, of course, your 2018 Continental Cup champion. So Jim will be leading off our ninth leg, looking for a big, much-needed win to stop the runaway freight train that has been Kylie Edmund in the latter portion of the first eight legs. Gentlemen, whenever you're ready. All right, Kyle, you ready, buddy? All right, game yeah. on, buddy. Game on, indeed. Kylie Edmonds on the heels of a 148 out. Everyone in the chat room went nuts. They loved it. But uh, does the break? There's a ton 40 from Jim. It just took the words right out of my mouth. Does the break give Jim a Give Jim a, a moment to regroup. 140. Not when Kylie Edmonds answers with a ton 40 himself. And that also means it did not take the momentum away from Kylie. 30. 
And then a 30 from Jim Long. 139. And a 139 from Edmonds now. Edmonds completely on fire. Our largest crowd in the stream, at least on the Facebook stream of it. We also have it on YouTube. 140. There's a 140 from Kylie Edmonds. Is there any stopping Kylie? He is picking up where he left off on that eighth leg. 78. 78 from Jim Long leaves him what would be the highest out. Not if Kylie has something to say about it. Just a bit too high. Jim Long, what a ton 70 would do for his momentum and his spirits. First start has to be perfect. Oh, first two were exactly what he wanted. Third one, not so much. Where has long gone? Kylie Edmonds now with a double top to take a 6-3 lead. Kylie, the giant killer. After that back and forth, just battle between him and Matt Campbell. Previously undefeated, now a spectator. Kylie riding that lightning from last week. Did not pivot, should we say? Uh, 100. Won't say it again. Guarantee you that. There's a 100 from Jim Long. 94. We thank you all at home for sharing, watching, chatting, being a part of this. Once again, this is the CDC Championship League Canadian Division Finals. Five men are spectators. These two vying for a spot in tomorrow's championship at 8 Eastern. Ten minutes after the conclusion of this match, we'll find out in due time who they will play. Sixty. I want to thank our friends at Dark Connect, the premier, the only real scoring platform in the world now. Used universally on every continent. I'm pretty sure it's used in Antarctica, right? Why not? I want to thank our sponsors, Magic Darts Incorporated. Great third dart there from Jim. So a ton from Kylie Edmonds. If he's for, afforded the opportunity, does he send a message with the double double? It's not frowned upon anymore, but Jim Long might have something to say about it. Uh, 85. Instead, comes away with an 85. John Bones Ron Holm is in the house. Kylie Edmonds going against what I said, and I can't say I blame him. Go the tried and true route. But now Jim Long, he needs this. Oh, does he need this? Oh, Jim Long, do you need this? And he does not get it. That could be a backbreaker, Kylie Edmonds, to get two legs away from moving on. Second dart. Second dart goes in. Yeah. Kylie Edmonds now. With a 7-3 to three lead. Giant killer with Matt Campbell on Friday. Took out the number one seed. Now looking to take down the number two seed. Jim Long needs to catch lightning in a bottle. The same he had for the last two matches. Forty-five. I was going to tell you that I, I married John Ronholt, not personally, but 
but I officiated that wedding, and it was a blast. Much love to him and his beloved Maggie. Jim Long looking for a beloved ton 40. 80 comes away with a ton 40. Jim Long really needs a huge comeback, a long comeback, as it were. Not my words, I assure you that, but that's a 137 out of 95. Kylie Edmonds. 95 from Jim Long. So, where indeed has Jim Long gone? 94. 94 now for Kylie Edmonds. Leaves him a 170. He holds the high out for the night with a 148. 100. There's a 100 from Long. Is it too little, too late? Let's find out. Uh, no. He will have a shot at it. Thanks, Kylie. 100. Oh, Jim Long. Just outside the same double bowl that afforded him the opportunity to lead off this match. 50. Jim Long. It is basically do or die now, Jim. Good marker. 17. A little too strong. Kylie Edmonds now. Double 10. Double 5. Walk the dog. Ten. On a parallel, he does, giving Jim Long the opportunity to uh, take a deep breath and stay alive. Predictions in the chat room that this was going to go the distance. Kylie Edmonds seems to have different plans. Unless Jim. Oh, that one got away from Jim Long. That second dart indicates what we've seen from him. After that unbelievable two-leg start, Kylie Edmonds. Slowly down the ladder he goes, a little too far, lost his footing. Now he's down to a double two. If and only if Jim Long does not take out this double four, an 18 will not do it, Jim. First start. Jim Long. Up at the Aki, calm, cool, and collected. Takes a deep breath, knows exactly what he's up against. Knocks down the double four, only to hold throw, though. He needs to break right now. And then hold. And then break again. They say broadcasters shouldn't be biased, but right now, you're darn right I'm rooting for Jim Long. I want to see this thing go the distance, folks. I want what you want. I want that pivotal 17th leg. 59. It's a brave new world out there. We created live sports when there were none in the world. Why cannot a broadcaster root for someone only for the okay. sake of making this go the distance? Garrett French is in the house. John Considine is in the house. Thank you for the kind words, Scott Wallace. Uh, 140. There's a ton 40 from Jim Long. You wouldn't know it by his voice and his reaction, but indeed it was not enough for an out. Don't you worry, guys. Anthony and I will be reunited in the next match. 125. There's a nice ton 25 from Jim Long, leaving a perfect out. Anthony and I will be talking to Nick Lindbergh and Gary Mawson, and we'll be back in the booth together in due time. Don't you worry about that. Jim Long. First, First start. Exactly what Jim Long needed. Again, it is a race to nine. There can be only one. The leg 17. We had ties this season. Boy, did they play a very 41. interesting part. Now everything played out. Isn't that right, David Garfinkel? Isn't that right, Anthony Eugenia? Isn't that right, Peter Cetera? Isn't that right, L. David Irie? Of course, tonight's production brought to you by USA Dart Productions, super producer L. David Irie and Kevin Malenfant. I'm Colin Cosell. You're you. We're home. This is live. You're welcome. Uh, 99.
41. Peter Cetera stopped watching it with closed captioning. One of the fun things about this after Jim Long's done 40. Uh, 180. That's an AE. That's a 180. Jim Long has caught fire just when he needed to again. Back and forth. It's like Rocky Four. Someone get these guys some gauze. Get them some Vaseline. Some water to spit. 135. That's a 135 out of Jim Long now. 45. Seems like a really nice guy, but when you start hit bidding, hitting, hitting big darts, I should say, this is what you get out of Jim Long. 30. And a 30 from Jim Long, but what's the race? 81. A beleaguered 81 from Kylie Edmonds, Jim Long now to make it 7-6. Two fantastic markers. This. All three of them are markers. Unfortunately, you don't get a fourth dart, but very fortunately, you do get another shot at it. Kylie Edmonds not seizing the moment, at least not feeling, well, maybe with we'll yeah. that second dart he does. So a 1-4-5 now, Jim Long. Because the suspense needs to be built. He does it with the first dart. First to nine, best of 17. It is now 7-6. Jim Long has won three consecutive legs. It has been back and forth. It has been momentum central. Ninety-five. There's a 95 from Jim Long. So who's got the nerves of steel? Whose heart rate 97. is pumping right now? We do not know. We cannot check their heart rate. Wish we could, but I do know this. Both men going up to the giving it their all. 54. For Jim Long, it has been a long and windy road. 58. In this comeback, if he can make it come to fruition. 59. The one thing to keep in mind, if you're joining us for the first time during these broadcasts, a record-shattering viewership tonight is the players all season long all 14 of them have become a part of the production staff, spending hours with 100. David Irie, Kevin Mellencon, a ton there from Jim Long, getting their lighting, their cameras and everything set up, setting their marks. They're now a part of the production staff, and in turn, with their cameras live, so are their microphones. You get to hear their reactions in real time. Jim Long now. 85. With an 85, we'll have a shot at an out. Keeping in mind, he did lead off tonight. 140. In unbelievable fashion. A big ton 40 from Kylie Edmonds. Jim Long, a 130 and a 122 to lead off. Second dart needs to drop. That's not going to do it. He is currently tied with Kylie Edmonds. Uh, Third dart, absolutely stunning by Kylie Edmonds. Looking to apply some pressure on the jugular of Jim Long. Second dart, good. Third dart. Oh, just a little south, kind of like the West Virginia border. Jim Long now to tie it up. Four straight legs. And he does it with one single dart. We are notched at seven. It is a race to nine. Let's go, people. Jim Long used the term slobber knocker to compare and utilize his verbiology for what Kylie Edmonds uh, and Matt Campbell went through on Friday. Well, now he's partaking in his very own, perhaps the blood and adrenaline pumping a little too hard for Jim. A 41 for Jim Long, a 40 for Kylie Edmonds. 
the severity, the enormity, the pressure of the situation getting to both men, it is palpable. 58. Paltry numbers out of these gentlemen right now. Paltry. And I mean that with nothing but love and respect. Kylie Edmonds shuts me up right when I needed it most. That's a 180. And Anthony Eugenia right on cue. Kylie Edmonds looking to take back the momentum. Once a best of 17 is now a best of three. Jim Long, once down, 7-3. Seven, Not just it at 7-7. Seven, seven. Keeping in mind, Jim Long had a 2-0 lead with phenomenal darts in those opening legs. 92. Kylie Edmonds going right back at it. 140. Who are you, Triple 20? And what did you do to the Edmonds family? Kylie has had enough of you. Jim Long now wants to get himself down to a comfortable out. But as we've seen tonight, they're all pretty comfortable for Jim. Although the high 60. out belongs to Kylie Edmonds. Edmonds, I should say. It is pluralized. Now, Kylie. Oh, double, double. Oh, just a bit outside. Jim Long now looking for his high out. Would be the high out of the night to best Kylie's 148. First start has to be perfect. It is not. 60. 60 for Jim Long. Kylie Edmonds looking for that eighth leg he's been dying for. 15. Having trouble with his outs. He was ranked 10th overall out of 14 men. First overall in ton 80s, but 10th overall in checkout percentage. Jim Long, number two overall. First start, perfect. Second start, just too far Eight inside. Two. Gonna not do it there, Jim. Leaves him double four, Kylie Edmonds. A little bit of work, one double two. Second dart. Second dart for Kylie Edmonds on the precipice now of the first ever CDC Championship League final to represent O Canada. Breaks Jim Long in the driver's seat. Kylie Edmonds, who took down Matt Campbell on Friday. Opens up with a ton. Jim Long feeling it. 140. Opens with a ton. 40. You wanted this to go to the distance, folks. So did I. Jim Long apparently does too, unless Kylie says otherwise. And that's a 180 for Kylie Edmonds. What else can you ask for from these gentlemen? Sixty. Oh, 60 30. from Jim Long, but Kylie Edmonds follows up his ton 80 with a 30. Perhaps the adrenaline and pressure getting to him as well. It's getting to all of us, isn't it? 60. They are human after all. The human element you're able to capture in our live stream in their size, in their reactions, in the time they take, in the commentary to themselves. There's a ton from Kylie Edmonds. Kylie is now down to an out. Jim Long needs a huge turn right here if he's going to even have a chance. Otherwise, Kylie needs a 91, and he will advance at the number four seed, taking out the previously undefeated, undefeated Matt Campbell. The tried and true Jim Long. First start, fine. Double ball. Oh, oh Kylie geez. outside just a little bit north, much like Canada is. Jim Long now needs a ton 60 out. First start has to be perfect. Taking his time. First start is not perfect at all. Jim Long is on the ropes now, 100. folks. There's a ton. 
Nice little out to leave himself, but Kylie Edmonds, double 12 to advance. 12, 13. And a 13 from Kylie Edmonds. Jim Long. Sorry, guys. I'm going to say it. Come on, Jim. Notch this bad boy up at eight. Deep breaths. Jim Long has been on a big stage before. He's been at the Alley Pally, and here he is at home. Good marker. Third dart. Oh, and it goes just south. Kylie Edmonds with another chance. Kylie to advance to the finals. Good marker. Second dart. Inside. Third. Double three does it. Kylie advances. Kylie Edmonds, it's your Canadian division champion, and now gets to play for the CDC Championship League Finals. Hey, good shooting, buddy. We almost went all freaking 17 for him. <laughs> yeah, geez, that one, one to go up 8 2, kind of 8. I want to go up 8 3 here. I miss all those darts, and you miss darts. Like, oh. I said that to my wife. I said, you know what? That could be a turning point right there if I can. Uh, turn it around a little bit. And then I did. I went on like, I think five or six games in a row. Yeah. Four in a row. Oh, I, I, knew, I knew it was coming. Uh, gentlemen, hey, thank you for an amazing show, Jim. Let me, uh, let me lead off with you. First of all, um, you are a tremendous human being, a tremendous dart shot, one of the great ambassadors for the entire country of Canada and the darts community. Um, thank you for all you've done this season. Can you give me uh, a, just a, a quick recap of the season in general and uh, your take on it and uh, culminating with the match tonight? Yeah, sure. Um, honestly, you knew right away when you saw the names on the list it was going to be a uh, – uh, you know, it's something for us to look forward to, to play everybody like that every week and to uh, know that uh, you're going to play a match against somebody who, who's going to play great. And so it, it's been a great setup, a great um, time to play it. Um, and then, uh, you know, for tonight, you know, Kylie, Kylie was the number four seed, but and he just squeaked in. But make no mistake, the guy just struggled on his doubles through the whole round robin. Um, he was, um, you know, one of the guys I would have picked to have won the side right off the beginning. So, um, you know, it was a great match tonight. I started strong and then, man, I just went out to lunch and uh, Kylie played great uh, um, there for a stretch. And then, man, did he, he let me back in for a stretch. So I was, um, I was okay with it, but uh, man, and he did that 60 to force a, a decider and uh, missed it. So what you can do. And, of course, as the old saying goes, troubles for show, doubles for dough. And, uh, Jim, I'm going to ask you to stand yep. by for one more second, bring Anthony Eugenie okay. in after I ask Kylie this question. Uh, Kylie, um, I believe it's in the words of the great Bill Murray and Caddyshack, Cinderella story, uh, playing to the Masters, you know, squeaked in here. Um, you have been unfazed this entire time. You're a man of very few words, but I'm going to try to get more than three, uh, maybe a full sentence out of you right now. Um, <laughs> you actually looked like you you felt the pressure, looked like you felt the stress. Uh, you actually looked like you you went to, to battle tonight. Um, in broadcasting school, they tell you never to ask someone, how are they feeling right now? Because it's usually a one-word answer. But I'm going to ask you, after everything you've been through, squeaking in, uh, what you had to go through to take down number one, to take down number two, and to be here right now. What are you feeling right now? How are you feeling? And, um, yeah, just, just give me your full range of emotion. Uh, I'm relieved, actually. Yeah, I just, just squeaked in. I knew I had some good dirt somewhere along the line. I haven't played well all tournament, so I got lucky in the doubles, but I – after Jim went up two nothing, I, I went on fire for a bit, and then uh, just kind of went away, and it kind of comes and goes. So I'm just lucky again. I needed a couple couple games to go my way to get, actually just get into the playoffs. So it all worked out. Well, Kylie, um, we are very excited. 
so sorry. I, I can't believe I actually cut you off. Of all the people that I would cut off in the middle of a sentence, it's Kylie. What the hell is wrong with me? That's no, 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 you're not because I'm going to bring Anthony. I just want to say to you, uh, congratulations. You are moving on. Uh, and uh, I look forward to calling your match tomorrow night. Jim, these are going to be the last words I say to you, at least on the live stream. I'll talk to you uh, soon. Um, but uh, I'm going to hand yep. it over to Anthony Eugenia right now. Uh, Anthony Eugenia, the floor is yours with these two fierce competitors who put on what can only be described as one hell of a match. Are you kidding me, Colin? Three uh, checkouts of over 100 back and forth swings, and it comes down to a double three. This is just lunacy. Uh, gentlemen, great match. Uh, as Jim mentioned, you know, Kali, uh went on a four-leg run early on to, to get that lead, and then uh, at leg 11 was what Jim was referring to, a couple of missed doubles back and forth, and that, that, that sort of set Jim on fire. He went on a four-leg run, and, and we sat tied at seven and it just couldn't get any better um we had eight legs that were 15 darts and under uh quality stuff gentlemen um i'll start with jim first uh, you know jim what, what has this done for you in terms of uh competitive wise and and you know playing online i know it's it's taken some some getting used to but you know put this in context of being on site in a in a cdc event and what the what the competition's like you know something the competition's the same uh, the atmosphere is not. I mean, it's different. I look around and my wife's in the in the recliner beside me, you know, a dog in her lap. And so that's it's a little bit funny that way. But, um, you know, I know the guys I'm playing and I've played them in person many times. So it's not like it's a, it's not like it's a weird thing or anything. Uh, you just it's just been great to play it, to be honest. I mean, um you know, it's not the same as shaking the man's hand when you're done, but it's been it's been fantastic, honestly. That's awesome, Jim. Thank you so much, and we wish you the best moving forward. And, you know, we, we, of course, we're going to see a lot more from Jim Long in 2020. Hopefully see you soon. Indeed. Thank you, sir. And Kylie, Kylie, you let us in on a little something there when you ex expressed that it was more of a sense of relief. And to me, I read that as, you know, Everybody in this competition are capable dart players. So sort of, you know, one to seven gets thrown out the window at certain points. So that that tells me that's that's a high level competitor who's expecting a lot from themselves and putting a lot coming into the event. So congratulations on making the overall CDC Championship League finals. Thanks. You are welcome, uh, Kylie. A man of Yeah, exactly. Please expound. Uh, no, like, I don't have much else to say about it. Uh, yeah, the hardest part was getting... So who are we looking for? So, so I'll put you on, who do, who do we want? Do we want Mawson or we want Lindbergh? I don't care. I, I haven't played uh, Gary. I'm sure you don't. I mean that from a respectful I'll, standpoint. I'll You're going to take Canadian. on the best competition you can get. I'll take Gary because he's Canadian. Okay, folks, we've got a barn burner coming up next. I'm going to turn it right back to Colin, and we're going to get you ready for the U.S. Division Championship. Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks, buddy. And thank, thank you, you, Anthony Eugene. Hey, and Good job, brother. All right, buddy. Best of luck. Thanks, buddy. I'll see you on Dirt and Whip game. You bet. Jim Long, always the consummate professional, throwing out bad words like slobber knocker and then bringing one his very own against Kylie Edmonds. Kylie Edmonds showing Anthony Eugenia exactly why he's a man of few words. Uh, but the man who advances the number four seed is now number one seed for Canada tomorrow night. That is right. It is going to be Kylie Edmonds. Who is he going to play against? We're going to find out together. Uh, it's it's – it's unbelievable. That was just one match, folks. We've got another one coming up in just a few minutes, so don't go anywhere. And just a reminder, we've got another sweepstakes going. We've got a couple of them going. Look at that. Question marks. We don't know. That actually looks kind of like my the silhouette of me when I was in high school. I'm not sure exactly what that was. But we do have a couple of sweepstakes coming up um, after these matches, first of which Lorraine Win Stanley signed signature target darts, 24 grams, and a set of signature Darren Young fit flights. Of course, brought to you by Magic Darts Incorporated. And then we also have Nathan Aspinall signature darts, 
signed by the ASP himself and a set of signature Jeremiah Millar fit flights. Both of these contests will commence after the conclusion of our matches tonight and will conclude tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern. Want to remind you to go to a to zdarts.com, purchase their colonial line of dart boards and barrels at the end of your purchase. Use the promo code COLONIAL10. You will get 10% off. Offer expires on 5-31-2020. That is five days from tonight. And, of course, I want to thank Magic Darts Incorporated, our sponsor, a to zdarts.com. Absolutely everything you need, as well as their new blog. They've got a blog set up with such greats as Dax Mana, who has won DPNY, DPLA, back-to-back. Or, you know, he's, he's just a man's a machine. Uh, Dax Mona is one of the all-time greats and is a darts guru. Uh, there's plenty of other blogs coming up as well. You can find that all on a to zdartscom Coming up next in about 10 minutes, we've got Nick Lindbergh. We've got Gary Mawson. It is the USA Division Finals. A brand new stream is going to commence. Can we break the record for viewership? That's up to you, my friends, but I really strongly suggest you do so. In the meantime, go get yourselves some popcorn, hit the restroom, whatever it is you need to do, walk the dog, uh, put your kids in bed, uh, make sure they've got earmuffs on because it's going to get loud and proud again. Yes, I've got plenty of voice, and if you don't like it, I don't care. Put it on mute because, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to happen once again. So that is going to do it for the Canadian Finals. Again, the USA Finals will begin in just a few short minutes. All rights to this broadcast are owned by the Championship Darts Corporation. Any rebroadcast or retransmission, including images and likeness, without express written consent of the copyright holder, is strictly prohibited. This particular broadcast, as they all are, is brought to you by USA Dart Productions, courtesy of Kevin Malenfant and super producer L. David Irie. Special thanks to Chris Schick and... David Garfinkel for stats and info. Couldn't do it without you. And Jennifer Mounts for unbelievable graphics and animation. On behalf of Jim Long, thank you, Jim, for everything you've done this season. And Kylie Edmonds, who we will see in 23 hours now, less than. And, of course, our amazing crew working behind the scenes in the championship dart circuit. I'm Colin Cosell saying on behalf of myself and Anthony Eugenia, do what you got to do to make sure you're back in 10 minutes. I will see you then.